Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to Forensic Extract and today's topic is medical termination of pregnancy that is MTP Act 1971. So first of all, in fact, uh, definitions are abortion and or miscarriage is legally defined as the premature expulsion of product of consumption before full term of pregnancy is complicated. That is legal definition of abortion. Then second is medical definition that is expulsion before the age of viability then the period of viability in India is 28 weeks. Now the still birth is born after 28 weeks and there is no sign of uh, signs of life at any time after being completely born and the baby dies during the process of birth. Now the dead birth is died in uterus with a respective period of gestation shows any one of the following sign it may be Macerated, rigor mortis may be there, putrefaction, adiposity or mummification may be there. So these are different definitions under Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act 1971. So guys, deliberate termination of pregnancy for the medical or elective reasons called induced abortion. And though MTP Act 1971 induced abortions in India become legalized so these act uh, these uh, induced abortion different techniques of induced abortion are legalized in our country under medical termination of pregnancy act now the mtp act an enabling act which the act which aims to improve the maternal health scenario by the preventing large number of unsafe abortions and consequent high incident of parental mortality and morbidity it is going to legalize different abortion services in our country, then promote access to safe abortion services to women, then decriminalizes the abortion seekers. So it is going to offer protection to medical practitioner who otherwise would be penalized under the Indian Penal Code, section 3152316. So different legal framework of this act is the MTP Act lays down where or when or where pregnancies can be terminated. Then it is going to grant the central government power to make rules and the state government power to frame regulations. So different rules and regulations are there under the MTP Act. So different rules are these rules lays down who can terminate the pregnancy, training requirement, approval procedure for place, etc. Then different regulations are to be framed by state government, which are going to lay down the form of for opinion maintenance of record and custody of forms and reporting of the cases so different rules and regulations are there under this act now what is legal abortion abortion are termed legal only when all the following conditions are met first is termination done by a medical practitioner approved by the act next is termination done at a place approved under the act Termination done for the conditions and with the gestation prescribed by the act, other requirement of the rules and regulation are compiled with. So basically that abortion which is done by a medical practitioner at, any, uh, uh, at a place or uh, for the condition which are described in the medical termination of pregnancy act, that abortion is legal. When can pregnancy be terminated? So guys, according to MTP act, up to 20 weeks of gestation with the consent of the woman if she is less than 18 year or mentally unsound then the consent of guardian is required but the opinion of rmp has been formed in the good faith under circ under circum certain circumstances the opinion of one registered medical practi practitioner required for the termination of pregnancy if the pregnancy is less than 12 weeks and two registered medical practitioner are required to open in case of if the duration of pregnancy is between 12 to 20 weeks now different indications under mtp act the continuation continuance of the pregnancy would involve a risk to the life of the pregnant women or it is going to cause grave injury to her physical or mental health so this is first indication under mtp act second is the continuation of pregnancy is a substantial risk that the child will be born it would suffer from such a physical or mental abnormality to the seriously to be seriously handicapped the child is going to be seriously handicapped as a result of uh, if the pregnancy is continued now the explanation one is if the pregnancy is due to rape or explanation two is due to 
with the pregnancy due to contraceptive failure so these are different indications comes under this medical termination of pregnancy act now the guys place for conducting mtp is a hospital established or maintained by the government or a place for the time being approved for the purpose of this act by the government so any 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 place that is maintained or by established or maintained by the government under this act now decentralizes the site registration for a 35 member district level committee chaired by the cmo or dho then approval of the site that are, that can perform from mtt M, uh, mtps under the act can now be done at district level and stricter penalties stricter penalty for the mtp being done in unapproved site or by the person not permitted by the act replaced word lunatic or mentally ill person so there is no such terminology in this act as uh, for lunatic or mental and uh, that lunatic word has been replaced by mentally ill person now the guys implement implications of amendments first simplifies this registration of sites which can be done as district level now the providers can get their sites approved for the providing abortion under mtp act for the first trimester only up to 20 weeks and thereby comes under the protective protective cover of the mtp act now different rules the experience and training required for the provider then approval of a place for the terminating pregnancy under the act then composition and tenure of the district level committee then inspection and cancellation suspension of the approval review and the different consent form though these uh, are covered under the mtp rules now first of all a medical practitioner or a registered medical practitioner who has a recognized medical qualification and whose name has been entered in a strict medical register or who has such experience or training in gynecology and obstetrics as prescribed by the rules made under the act so these are different criteria uh, for a doctor who can perform medical termination of pregnancy for termination up to 12 weeks the practitioner who has assisted a registered medical practitioner in performing 25 cases of mtp of which at least 5 were performed independently in a hospital established or maintained or training institute approved for this purpose by the government now for the termination up to 20 weeks a practitioner who holds a post graduate degree or diploma in obstetrics and gynecology a practitioner who has completed 6 month house job in obstetrics then a practitioner who has at least one year experience in practice of obstetrics at hospital which has all facilities then a practitioner registered in state medical register immediately before commencement of the act experience in practice of obstetrics for the period of not less than 3 years these are the criteria for a practitioner who can terminate the pregnancy after 12 weeks uh, before after 12 weeks for the site up to for size up to 12 weeks that is first trimester gynecological examination labor table resuscitation and sterilization equipment must be there drugs and parental fluids must be there backup facilities for treatment of shock and facilities for transportation must be there then for uh, size uh, to uh, between 12 to 20 weeks all requirement for the 12 weeks plus operation table and instrument for the performing abdominal and gynecological surgery anesthesia equipment must be there resuscitation equipment sterilization equipment must be there drug and parental fluid notified by the emergency unit notified by government of india from time to time so these facilities must be there if the pregnancy is done after 12 weeks now the mtp regulations power to state to make regulations regarding mtp services regulation for union territories by central government now the application of central government regulation in the absence of state government the mtp regulation what do they cover the forms to be required for the making opinion admission register reporting of the mtp custody of the forms then prevention of disclosure of information these are the covers under mtp regulations so guys according to census 2011 sex ratio in india is 940 and child sex ratio is 914 that is important case of uh, the declining sex ratio parallel with steep increase in availability of ultrasound machine and use during uh, use during pregnancy why because sex determination testing followed by second trimester abortion a major pathway for sex selection and that is responsible for female feticide and that is also responsible for decreasing or declining sex ratio 
sexual violence or unwanted pregnancy desire for son and th that is going to cause for that is responsible for sex determination and finally there is abortion so now the different methods of medical termination of pregnancy in first trimester is medical that is by giving mifepristone plus mesoprostol or methotrexate plus mesoprostol surgical methods are menstrual regulation manual vacuum aspirations dilatation and suction curettas now guys what is medical abortion mtp using mifepristone that is re486 and mesoprostol approved uh, for up to 7 weeks of termination only an rmp as defined by the mtp act can prescribe the drugs has to follow mtp act rule and regulation can prescribe in her in his or clinic provide he, he or she has access to an approved place should display certificate from the owner of approved place agreeing to provide access now for the second trimester medical is, uh, termination can be done by mesoprostol dinoprost carboprost surgically treatment can be done by dilatation or evacuation hysterotomy or extraembryonic acridine other methods like oxytocin infusion or intrauterine hypertonic saline that is 20% saline installation so these are different methods of abortion or medical abortion in second trimester now the guys what are different shortcomings in mtp act mtp act basically permits women seek legal permission for a termination of unwanted pregnancy for a wide range of reason the clause about the contraceptive failure applies only to married women this discrepancy need to be corrected and second one is mtp rule defined person or place requirement but do not refer to any national or international technical guideline for safe abortion care in view of rapid scientific advances third one is mtp provides continue to use unsafe abortion practices like sharp curettage check curettage and following a vacuum aspiration general anesthesia and different drug doses schedule and protocol for the medical abortion etc then mtp last one is the mtp only up to 12 weeks of gestation so these different fault and shortcomings and faults that must be corrected in this medical termination of act the medical termination of pregnancy act 1971 so these are the different criteria all about medical termination of pregnancy thank you guys and thanks for watching